Hey guys, it's your girl Armani, and um, you guessed it, I am back with another video. And if you're clicking on this video based off the title, yes, it is true. I have lost my job. I have been fired, um, wrongfully terminated. But um, yeah, so I am now moving on into a new chapter of my life. And I just decided to sit down and make this video because YouTube is supposed to be my journal, my video journal. Um, but I haven't been doing too much journaling on this channel and I want to do that because now I have all the time in the world to do so. But I just want to do it because, I mean, like I said, I just have all the time in the world and I just feel the call to do this now. So, um, I'm just filming this video because... I just want to finally just release myself of the worldly things, of the things that have been plaguing me, have been hurting me, and have been bothering me, have been pushing me back from my greatest potential. And so I just want to talk and I just want to let you guys know what's going on and what my plans are and how the life of a 19 year old unemployed person is. You know? <laughs> I don't know. But I just really just wanted to just vent and kind of get it out there, put it out into the universe, put it out onto the internet, you know, um, which is a universe within itself. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into what I'm trying to say. So on Monday, um, probably by the time you guys see this, it will technically be last week, I was terminated for my job. I worked at Ross, Dress for Less. I was a cashier. I was the best cashier there. Um, and I did my job really well. Um, and because I did my job really well, the enemy sought to attack me at every angle. And um, the last straw was me being terminated um, wrongfully. And I won't feed into it anymore. I'm kind of just that type of person who, you know, it happens to me. It happened to me, but it isn't determined who I am. And it doesn't shake me at all because I know my character and I know what I've done and what I haven't done and what I was accused of and what is accurate. Um, it's just nothing to discuss. I mean, uh, people make mistakes. Uh, wrong training happens. And, you know, you just live and you learn. Um, I've been on the job for almost a year, actually. Um, yet on the 17th would have been a year that I had job. And during that time, I had legalized my uh, business name, copyrighted my name. Uh, if you guys don't know, I'm starting my own clothing brand called Hood Rats. And... I'm um, not afraid to say it anymore on video because I was so afraid to say it for so long, but I'm just letting it all air out right now. But I started my clothing brand, Hood Rats, maybe about two and a half years ago, and it just came from a vision and an idea that I had. And I already am a fashion designer. I've already been designing for literally all my life. I've owned my own business since I was eight and a half years old. And so I was just like, you know custom wear is amazing and it's great but it doesn't make you money and it doesn't keep the the lights on and keep the ongoing revenue and i see so many small businesses opening up and where they're selling their own t-shirts with their own logos on it and they're making a profit off of it and i just figured why not do the same thing here um but of course i had a couple bumps in the road i thought i had to go a certain route that i didn't have to go and of course like you live and you learn and um one of the things that i just uh, appreciate is my journey getting here to this point i mean i don't know financially where i'm gonna be at in a month from now but i hope it's better than where i am now and i hope that isn't something that i love and adore and that i see myself doing for the rest of my life and right now my baby is hood rats and it's is to get a fat is to get um some finances together so that I can fund my company so that I can get samples made so I can get runs done so that I can launch fully and the goal is to launch this winter so I'm not going to sit there and say that it's not possible because it is possible I've been working on it for almost a year now I've been funding it I have my logos done I have my ideas set I've already had consultations with factories and I just know what I want. I have my business plan put together. Like I am so ready and so amped. And where I thought I was gonna have that opportunity when the pandemic hit, I was not able because the factories were being shut down and shipping wasn't happening. And there was just so much happening that I was like, you would have had to already been established before the pandemic and I wasn't. So it was kind of like one of those things that like I didn't have any product, I didn't have any merchandise. I was just getting started. And right when I was just getting started, everything just went kapoop. 
and then I got called back into work and I just been working 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 ever since and I just lost myself I felt like I wasn't I wasn't having any passion anymore I wasn't driven anymore I am an entrepreneur I'm a business owner I'm a boss girl like I do this for a living and I was conforming to society I was conforming to my environment and I was suffocating I was slowly killing myself like literally working a nine-to-five job that didn't want to pay me full-time you know hour that didn't want to even promote me to full-time that didn't want to pay me and give me the benefits that I deserve and were keeping me on part-time but I was working full-time hours I was there more than the managers were there and so I just got to a point where I was like I feel like I'm being taken advantage of my work is not being um, respected I'm asking for the right things and I'm being told one thing and one thing is happening my business is not taking off I don't have enough time in my day to take care of this and take care of that and now I'm unemployed and I've never felt more free in my life like I've never felt more free in my life like sorry don't get me wrong like this is a scary place to be for some people this is a scary place to be for some people like not having a job and not knowing what to do is so scary but I plan for this I guess it was I was like I don't plan on being at Ross for no longer than two years I don't plan on this being my life like I want my career I want my dream I want to own my own business I want to run my own business this year and I'm making it happen and I will take you guys along the journey and I will share my journey with you guys and I will talk about so much because I I am a talker I love talking I love sharing everything and I promise to just create this platform where I can just be honest I can be true to myself but I can also share my journey with you guys because at the end of the day I'm not just sharing my journey with you guys I'm documenting my journey for myself and a year from now, I know that I'm gonna not going to be sitting on the floor in my, own, my old bedroom. I'm going to be in my new home that I plan on purchasing and, you know, running my company full time, hopefully making more than six figures a year. Like, I'm, I have big goals for myself and I have big visions for myself and I'm manifesting them and I'm praying on them and I'm working on them. And I'm just really excited to just share it with you guys. I'm really excited to just talk about it. But I'm free. I'm free from corporate America. And I cannot be more excited to embark on this new journey. I'm like, thank God I have savings. Thank God. Like, I didn't, like, just, I wasn't, like, frug frugalist. What's the word? Frugalist with my money. Thank God I was not, like, every teenager who just spends, spends, spends. But, like, I know God's going to take care of me. I have all all of the things that I need now to fully fully be the best version of me and I'm just really really in a good place and I'm so proud of myself and I had so many mental breakdowns I was so nervous I had so many anxiety attacks but now sitting here recording and talking and actually expressing myself and just getting it out like getting it out that I'm excited to just embark on this new journey like I'm even writing my book that I started like in April like I started a book yes a self-help book not just for like the world but for myself and like going back and I was reading some of the stuff that I wrote down and I'm like whoa that's a really good stuff so like I have so many ideas so many plans so many places that I want to have multiple streams of income coming in from so I'm just excited to embark on this YouTube journey welcome back Armani because I gotta say that to myself because I've been gone for a while welcome back and I'm gonna push myself to upload frequently I'm gonna push myself to share even when it's not like on brand like if I'm just talking about why I decided to buy some shoes like I'm gonna share that with you guys because I'm just trying to create a family I'm just trying to create a friendship across the world I mean nowadays TikTok about to get banned and a lot of stuff is about to change we're about to vote and all these things are getting ready to happen it's just time to get like put your money where your mouth is it's time to put in that work it's time to start actualizing your your dreams and your reality because it's possible it's yours you created it you are the co-creator in your own life and I'm talking to myself but I'm talking to you guys also so I hope this video inspired you guys I hope you guys like this video I hope that it inspired you I, I know I said that already, but inspiration in the spirit and inspiration in real life are two different things, you know what I'm saying? 
but I hope it resonated and I hope that if any of you guys are struggling like me like I got called back into my job I was on furlough because of the pandemic I had an ongoing check coming in and then now I am completely fired completely unemployed I'm in the same boat as everybody else and I just I, I just couldn't be more thankful for the opportunity um, that has provided itself and it's the prime season it's the ripening season it's the time for harvest and I just pray that um, you guys are in the same boat as me because we're, we're about to start rowing. You know, we're about to start getting some traction. We're about to start going, set sail. We're about to really just blow up and um, just do great things. So give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Also comment down below, like, what are your plans and goals for this year as far as your career goes? Um, what are some things that you worked on this year to actively go towards your career and move towards that instead of your job that you do now that you hate? or whatever the case may be um what are some business moves you've been making this year and um yeah just subscribe if you want and if you want to continue to see my face i'll be back and i'll see you soon peace